<clears throat> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cultural Talks, Episode 3. It's your favorite person in the world, your host, Lamont Phillips, a.k.a. God's Dirty Hands. You can find me on Twitch, Facebook, IG, YouTube at God's Dirty Hands, or you can find me on Facebook at Lamont Phillips. And they call they don't call me CEO for no reason. CEO of a culture entertainment. You can follow me on YouTube, Culture Entertainment with a K, and hit that subscribe button. Greatly appreciate it. And you do Twitch. And Twitch, yeah, well, barely, Twitch. but we, you know, I do it. But we still do it. So we're gonna start off like we always do. Uh, take a little shot. You're lucky. I don't know how to do pose because I would have a pull up. Uh, who wants to see Kevin pass out drunk again? But <laughs> <coughs> we're going we're not. We're gonna let him live this time. We're gonna take these shots. Hopefully the. The audio quality is better. Uh, let us know. Yes, let us know if you can hear us good. We also, um, the camera quality should be a tad bit better as well. Tad bit amazing. We're, we're, we're making adjustments on the fly as we go. Well, let's take these shots. Anybody that's in here, we're going to take shots. So, Coach Entertainment. <sighs> Get the... Get the hair off your chest. Get your body going. Green, thank you for the like, my brother. Oh. Greatly appreciated. Kevin already filling it in his chest, clearly. <clears throat> that was tough. So, Kevin had a great question to start off with. So, he said, why? Basically, why did we decide to... You know, start cultural entertainment, cultural talks, stream in general. Um, I thought that was an amazing question. I'm going to let him go first, though, since it was his question. Josh, thank you for the like. Green, thank you for the like. So I think I think the one day of that, I believe it was me, you, and Justin just, you know, sexing over each other. You know, we're giving each other ideas about, you know, streaming and all that stuff. Um, you and Justin had the idea of going on Twitch. I had, at the time, I was a man. I'm thinking about doing the same thing, too. But... I'm not a great Call of Duty player, as you know, these two are, you know, both of them are phenomenal players. Um, me personally, I feel like, you know, I wouldn't be up to par. My Twitch probably would be more comedy based, you know what I mean, while these two are more, you know, getting headshots and all that stuff. And, you know, that's not really who I am. So I decided to take another route. I was like, let me, you know, go the YouTube route where I, you know, I, once upon a time, I think two years, three years ago, we ran a podcast for a few weeks it was called culture um sports podcast you know but it wasn't live it was more recording it was fun um things happened where it fell apart and i felt the love i fell out of it the, you know the love for it, the passion i didn't really have it no more um for a reason i can't really remember but when me lamar and justin had these talks again i was like yeah yeah i want to do this again i want to do it but yeah, this time yeah. let's do it live um yeah. so i decided to go the youtube route um I, had, I came up with so many, at, at the time where they were talking about doing the Twitch, I was like, man, I want to watch so many things. So that's when I came up with that day with culture entertainment instead of culture sports. Because I love anime. I love talking about anime. I love talking about movies. Um, the one thing about it is like, when we all chill, what do we do? We debate all day long and we talk about stuff that we love. And I was like, let me do the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. um, number two, um, I, see that, like Angel. I see a lot of people you know, doing the same exact thing and, and they're trash. Or people just... What's people, good, Angel? People just uh, disagree with them. And I was like... Disagree with me then. So disagree with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you like other people, you don't you don't like their you know their topics or or however they answer, do the same thing with me, and I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? Like if you do it to other people, I feel like I'm doing the same thing too. And like not not to disrespect anybody who on, on the YouTube feels like some of them are very cringy, and I'm like I'm not really a cringy person. You know what I mean? Um, so that's the reason why I started doing it, and honestly, I fell in love with it. I'm truly love you know talking about things that I truly enjoy, and and. and the editing process, everything, the whole process of it, yeah. it's fun. I truly love it, and I ain't stopping. And another thing is, too, um, number three is I'm tired of working for somebody. I want to be my own boss already. Culture Entertainment is my thing. It's my baby. I'm growing it, and hopefully one day it, it could blow up and do something uh, amazing. And what's the worst that can happen? Nothing. Yeah, I, 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 can, I can at least say I tried. Exactly. I agree with that. Um, I felt like when we did, you know, the cultural sports on the uh, anchor. I felt like not having a visual, it kind of, we didn't understand, like, it wasn't as enjoyable, like, to see see it. The visual makes it happen. That's like with cultural talks, we're going to do just like we do with 
everything else, cultural entertainment, besides the gaming, because the gaming is live, obviously. But we weren't going to do it live. We were going to record, then push it out. My idea was like, culture talks is kind of my baby. Even when we had cultural sports, the first time I, was, I talked about it, um, I don't think we were as motivated back then. We really weren't. Um, because this has been brewing for so long where we can could have done this. And we just kind of... We, we put it to the back and we shouldn't have really done that. But for me, it was if we're going to take it serious this time, I'm all in. Um, I love debating um, sports, uh, politics, whatever, religion, whatever. I'll po- I, we could argue what shade of blue the sky is. If that's what you want to do, we can do it. Um, but gaming uh, during COVID, I was gaming a lot. And um, I was just like, damn, man, maybe um Maybe I could stream this and, you know, maybe it goes it goes someplace with it. Um, I'm going to play regardless. I might not be the best player, but I'm going to play them and enjoy myself. And I spaz out a lot. And I think people like that when I be like, <laughs> somebody kill me. I'm like, your mom's a whore. And I, I, like, I think it's entertaining when I just am being myself in general. So, yeah, and I love it. I love it. Like, this is something I like. I feel like if you're comfortable doing something, do it. And like Kev said, man, I'm tired of working for somebody. That's why, you know, I took the steps to build my own LLC. Uh, and then, you know, we're talking about this and it was like, yo, I'm cool with it. Um, if it makes sense, I'm going to do it. And everything that Kevin per, uh, presents to me has made sense. So with that being said, I'm all on board. Um, 90% of the time he's running the ship, but he always asks my opinion. Um, it's really a partnership. A culture like it's his baby, but it's our baby. He just don't know it. I'm He's the mother. I'm the father. Whoa, whoa! I'm the daddy. <laughs> he violated. He violated. <laughs> this is why. Oh man. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, sports we love. Uh, movies we love. Like we talk about all this. Like TV shows we love, and we we talk about it amongst our group of friends: Randy, Tyler, Justin, Josh. Uh, sometimes we're talking to Cy about it. So it's like we. Angel too, Angel. We we talk everything. So like, why not? Why not talk about it where everybody can then, if you want, you can share it, and your people can then hop in and then comment, and we can have a debate. Cause y'all know me. If I'm, like, I'm gonna go in for mine, regardless. Like, he's my best friend, but you know we're not really friends at the moment right now. Cause um, you see the shirt he's wearing, and <laughs> he sends me videos all the time. You know, be an asshole, but that's what it is. Uh, it's enjoyable to us at this point because we're taking it serious. Like, we're putting the money in. We're putting the time in. He became a great editor, and, you know, he edits the intro for this. All I did was, here, I'm, I'll put the money in because you're going to put the time. I'll put the money. Um, it's a partnership. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's enjoyable at the same time. I'm the godfather, <laughs> Angel said. <laughs> so, you know, at this point, man, yeah, we're just doing what we love. And if we can make it big, guess what? A lot of y'all coming with us because that's just the type of people we are. Um, plus, who doesn't want to drink and talk shit? Exactly. So um, one thing I can tell you too is people who've been following Coach's name from the beginning, um, if you can tell my first camera was not the best quality. Um, I'll be wearing a black shirt and it looked brown. Um, sometimes um, we'll be quoting Coach's sports. I look yellow like a banana. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm white skin, but not yellow, but okay. And I took, the te- I took it upon myself. I was like, I want to upgrade. I, I put the money in and decided to get a great, great, great camera, which I truly love. Um, it's one of the best cameras out there. Um, for example, look at Coach Tolls. We was doing it in a sofa. Um, we had a, a, a good, a good camera. Um, decent. It was decent. We decided to upgrade. Like you can tell that we're truly invested into this. Um, right now, I still have a few more upgrades I want to do to before I feel like I'm truly solidified as what I want. Um, that people who I know, I want to get a new mic. Um, the mic I'm using now, shout out to Justin, he definitely, he definitely gave my mic, so I want to thank you for that. It's not bad though either. Not hell no, it's an amazing mic. Um, and also, I'm okay, uh, right now I'm, I'm using a, a basic laptop. Um, it takes a long time for the editing process. The process um, takes a few hours, and much longer than I, I should be. So eventually I want to upgrade to a better um, laptop. And there's a bunch, of, a bunch of ideas that I, you know, I'm throwing out there. But like I said, this is, this is for fun. I'm having fun with it. Um, it's, it's for fun, but it's not. Yeah. We're serious about it. Yeah, we just enjoy it, so it's fun. And the thing is, like, like I said, you can watch Skip Bayless talk nonsense. But he's an idiot. You can watch me be an idiot and talk him my nonsense. Yeah, but <laughs> but Skip's nonsense and your nonsense are gonna be different. Like, no offense, if LeBron has a bad game, there's times you text me and be like, "Yo, bro, he played like shit." 
Oh, oh, he hasn't played that bad since year one with Miami where they blew it. Skip will never not be biased. We're, like, we're not biased. Like, I'll tell you, like, uh, y'all know, I'll be like, oh, the Eagles can suck this year. <laughs> it's like, I'll tell you, like, Skip will never sit here and be like, the Cowboys suck. Oh, the Spurs are trash. He'll never. He, he still thinks Kawhi's the king of L.A., so I can't respect a man like that in a sense. You know what I'm saying? But I guess it is what it is. Yeah. And there's the reason why we do it. And right now, we're having fun with it. Tell Skip, tell Skip and Shannon to sit down with us. Or, or or another thing too, like I see podcasts that I love, like All the Smoke, Matt Barnes and us, oh, oh, oh. and and Stack Five. I love it. It's 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 motivation. Um, million dollars worth of game. I love it. To me, to me, it's the best. Quadley looks good. Kev still look better than you, L. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, now he got to get a black eye, Ainge. <laughs> um, another one I will start to watch. What you thought? It's a with comedian Pop. The last quest. It's a good, it's a good podcast. Um, but like as you see, we're taking baby steps. So user, user on this journey with us. And when we get to a certain point, we're gonna give back. Like I already done had a giveaway on my, on my stream, when I hit so many followers on Twitch. I had three winners. I gave it right away because you know what? Any support you taking one minute, two minutes, three minutes out of your time, and giving it to me, I greatly appreciate it. Like giving me a platform to. Be me, and I, I I thank you guys completely. Yeah. And for me, you know, one subscriber is one closer to my dreams. That's the way I see it. So, regardless, of it takes years. As long as, as long as you know, there's a possibility of you know, step further. Step further I'm definitely all for it. And like I said, one subscriber is better. It's closer to one to my dream. Yeah, how many uh, how many subscribers you got on? I currently got forty two. Forty two, but over six hundred views. Thank you guys. We appreciate that. Ooh. Wait, well, oh, oh, where do they find that? Where can they go subscribe at? Uh, you go on YouTube, Culture Entertainment with a K. Type it in. The, you can put it in the chat, too. Yeah, we're, we're going to type it in chat so you guys know. Um, okay, so. That right there. Yeah, it's Culture Entertainment. You could go like that on. Um, you click that. That's on Facebook. Go like it. Go follow it. But then you could go from there to the YouTube and subscribe. Everything helps us. We greatly appreciate it. Um. So I don't know, but I, you know, I have a, a wife that immune system sucks and I have a daughter that's a uh, premature. So when it comes to like diseases and shit or viruses, I'm pretty like out there. I pay attention. Um, have you heard about monkeypox that was found in Texas on July 15th? Yeah, that's, it's, it's, it's getting a little wild. Um, okay. So it's going to get wilder right here. So I'm going to tell you a little bit. When is your next recording for what? Uh, cultural sports. Monday, we uh, took a little a little break, Louis. Uh, but Monday we will be back for sure with that, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, but it won't be posted Tuesday. Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning it'll be posted. Okay. So with the monkeypox, I'm gonna give you just a little bit of I did a little just a little tiny bit. Um, health authorities have been monitoring 200 people in 27 different states. So, guys. If I didn't go looking for the information, I would not have known. How many people would have known monkeypox? <laughs> monkeypox is in here. 200 people from 27 different states. Um, how do we know they're not? Someone's not in PA. So it's like, again, the government fucking us. No spit, no Vaseline, shoving it up our ass, and it's ridiculous. Like, we don't even know how bad this could be. I seen a picture of the monkey pox. Yeah, I, I don't want that shit. <laughs> Big ass wolf. No, 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 no. Papa, I'm good. <laughs> um, then I did a little more research because, you know, when I come out, I like to have just enough and then we freestyle 90%. But um, Georgia has 43 people in the state that they are monitoring. Even though they don't have symptoms, my thing is, though, how do you know what the symptoms are? You, you don't know. This is a new disease, correct? I to us, it's more of we got time. We got to see what's gonna happen. Um, I feel like history it always repeats itself. No matter what, no matter what history repeats. Itself. I believe like early nineteen hundred. I think it was the Spanish flu happened. Um, mm -hmm. One thing, correct. one thing about this decade. The minute we hit twenty twenty, um, this is a decade of the viruses. Um, twenty tens. I don't think it was anything that crazy. You know, like how it is now. Um, 2020 hit, boom, virus. After another one. After another one. After another one. Right now, it, it, it ain't stopping no time it's soon. It's not. Um, 
monkey pox. Like I said, I don't much. I don't know much too much about it. Um, right now, I'm just more of waiting to see what really happens. Um, right now, like, like I said, I seen that picture where the dude had warts all over his hand. It was disgusting. Like, oh my god. Like, I am not ready. Yeah, I don't need that. Um, I, <laughs> and I, I feel like everybody losing their, their minds right now because we got the monkey pox going on. We got COVID still going on. We got COVID two point going on right now. So the, you, he just jumped right in <laughs> to what I was gonna say. Um. The new strain of COVID, Delta. Um, Delta. It's a new strain. So I want to say to, you know, just to let you guys know. So everybody that took the vaccine, um, from what I've been reading, you aren't, it's not going to prevent the Delta. Um, and uh, we're supposedly going back into another shutdown soon. Uh, they're already trying to mandate a mask again. So I feel bad for my buddy here because my buddy here, he got the shot because he didn't want to wear a mask. But guess what? <laughs> he said, fuck you, Kev. Nah, I, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. You, you will see me being recorded because I'm not putting my mask on. Yo, I, I'm done. Yo, I'm yo. done, dude. I can't oh. put that shit back on, dude. <laughs> yeah, uh, but the thing that got me with this new strain that I, I, I need people to know is Kids are at higher risk of catching Delta. Um, so if you have children, please, man, do what I do. I go to Sam's Club. Any, anywhere. I'm not saying go to Sam's Club. Wherever you go, get hand sanitizer, okay? Make sure your kids have some in your car with them. And when you go to a store, if you have to, mask up everything. Like, uh, we still do it. Um, because at the end of the day, my family is my everything. If I lose one of my kids and lose my wife, I'm going to fucking go crazy. So I don't want anybody to go through that. So... Please, let's take the precaution. Let's be smart. Um, a lot of people not wearing masks that are vaccinated. We know that's not true. I could walk into the store right now without a mask. They won't say nothing. Um, it's it's a deadly game. I just seen a picture of a concert. And remember SpongeBob where it was all the people? It yeah. was like that. And in my head, I'm like, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go extinct pretty soon at this rate. <laughs> uh, but a thing about the mask, the mandate. Uh, I want to say it was Texas or Florida. It was Texas. Not Florida. The dude that said, no, the one that said kids don't have to wear masks. Florida, Back in school was Florida. Florida. Yeah. yeah, Florida, uh, Florida. Uh, I'm going to say I got people in Florida. I love y'all. Shout out to y'all. Florida's fucking retarded. Okay. Um, I want to make that very clear because kids not wearing a mask, they're going to catch this a lot. So listen, if you have a kid in Florida, please make sure your kid's wearing their mask. Make sure they understand the importance of this. COVID is real and it's deadly. I done had people very close to me catch it. It's scary, man. Um, don't be one of them guys. You know what I'm saying? Your uh, thoughts? <clears throat> all right. So what, what got me is like they said the fourth wave was coming in December. When do we give the share of release date? <laughs> nah, but no, no. They they been saying when it was gonna happen. That was the thing. That's why like I kind of told Vanessa like, oh, so they're just they already uh, you know. <laughs> My opinion, okay? I think what happened was it was already a, a thing in China. And they seen how it was hitting China. I think we're a wave behind China, to be honest with you, if you ask me my opinion. Florida has been... What? Retarded from the beginning. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, yeah, but it's Florida. Yeah, yeah. It's they have been. But um, Texas, too. My dad works in Texas, and he lives in Texas, and he said nobody was wearing a mask, even the non people non vaccinated vaccinated to the point where now at his job they told you if you're not wearing a mask, you're going the fuck home. Like it's bad. The cases are shooting up again. I seen like almost I think it was half a million people died that were vaccinated from this. It's scary. My friend's vaccinated. I like what? This is my best friend. Something happened to him. Yeah, I gotta shoot the job up. Sorry, not sorry. I'm not I'm not gonna do I'm not wearing a mask until it, it's mandated. It is not not mandated I'm not wearing a mask. Um I work on the floor now. Um, I'm out of longer work in the office. I'm a supervisor assistant now, so like, <clears throat> it's hot as fucking warehouse. Um, I'm, I'm not wearing a fucking mask. Hold on. Fuck that. Say that louder. You're what? Supervisor assistant. Huh. He's the boss, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so yeah. Um, do I believe? I uh, yes. You know. Um, the reason why I got vaccinated is you know just so I don't have to deal with these situations. Just so if I ever did get COVID, you know, it wouldn't you know destroy me as both people did. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm all for the vaccine You know I'm out New strand Comes out Pow New strand comes out Punches <laughs> Kevin in the face Like damn man Gotta get another shot What I didn't like though I seen that Biden Was telling people Like if you get the vaccine Give you a hundred dollars Then give me my hundred Give Listen, me my money No first off I want more <laughs> You just gave niggas You just gave niggas Two stacks You gonna offer me a hundo I'm not that broke of a bitch But god damn it Give me like you know 
It's crazy, man. Now, you know what? Still yeah. wearing masks while driving Uber. Yeah. No, you do, and I see people in their car alone that wear a mask. So that, that's, I don't really get it. What you think? Job given incentives for employees being vaccinated. If vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask at work. Well, that's why he did it, though, Ainge, because where, but where he works, it gets extremely hot. Um, anything I said, man, give me my money. Yeah. <laughs> See, so Angel's job, he gets, uh, for each shot you take, right? So it's what, three or two. two? So for when you take the first shot, he gets an automatic free 10 hours of PTO. Free 10. And then when you take the second shot, free hours of 10 PTO hours, but you can use them whenever you want. Um, Angel, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Vanessa's job offered her 500. And Vanessa is completely against it. And if my wife is against it, I support her. Um, I'm on the fence with it. I'll be honest with you. If, I, if I'm going to die how I'm supposed to die. God has his plan for me. Um, I didn't live through some shit that I thought I probably should have died. And I, uh, you know what I mean? So uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's the way of the government trying to force you to do what they want. That's how I feel. Oh, because a lot of niggas, oh, 500 free dollars? Let me go snatch that shit. You know what I mean? Because we're not thinking of the side effects or what can happen in 50 years or what it's going to do to us. You know, it's, uh, it's well, crazy. Well, whatever happens 10, 20 years from now, guess what? I got me a lawsuit in my pocket. Mm. <laughs> so give me my money. Yeah, your kids will be rich. Me too. I get 10%. <laughs> Something happened to my friend. You know what I mean? I'm going to be going crazy. So... Um, but one thing I want to say that was positive out of COVID, and I told Vanessa this too. Have you noticed that because of the lockdown, the sky was cleaner, the air was more fresh? Like, and I don't think, and on my life, bro, that like we polluted this world so much. I feel like you ever seen the happening with Mark Wahlberg, where the, like the trees were killing niggas. Yeah. I feel like that, bro. Like the world was telling us, like, yo, you're killing me. Like, it's giving us a warning, like, yo, chill the fuck out. Nah, you know what it was? God was like, damn, y'all be licking ice cream and putting it back in the thing. You know what? I need to shut this shit the fuck down. Yeah, like, we're, 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 we're killing Earth, man. This is our planet. No Earth, no us. Um, I want to, when I'm dead, I want my great, great grandkids to be like, yo, my, my, my pop pop was an amazing man, da, 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 da. Like, I want to be remembered, um... Said, I'm still waiting. Louis said, I'm still waiting for my Spider Man powers to kick in. Been vaccinated since May. <laughs> Yo, I mean, if that happens, then shit, you might have to rob a bank. Get us all paid. Get us all paid. Um, yeah, man. Uh, but I do they make you sign a paper when you get vaccinated? No? Oh, so yeah, that's a lawsuit then, cuz. Exactly. <laughs> Give me my money. Yeah, I can't be mad at that. <laughs> okay. Real quick, before you go on, would you feel like this is a decade of viruses? Even though it's been one year in? I, 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 think, I think we're going back to the olden times with uh, how many viruses and how many sicknesses um, are coming about. Um, educate yourself, people. Don't, don't always look at the news and one outlet and be like, oh, that's the truth. Listen, they're going to spin an agenda. Um, do your research. Like, I teach my kids about... I teach my kids about shit because uh, they're not going to. Whether it's credit score, building credit, learning how to cook, clean, um, manage money, anything. It's a fucking agenda. But this is definitely, man, going to be crazy. Um, we st This wave, which just started, we have a fourth one. So, let's run that back. Uh, the third wave just started, okay, um, it's, and it's already pretty bad, and it's already stronger, so I'm already uh, bulked up, because like him, he's uh, vaccinated, so if he did catch COVID, right, he doesn't get sick, but now that strain was in his body, it has now, it, 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 it's, it was stronger for fighting his body, and you know what I'm saying, and now you got Delta. So now Delta could kick your ass, but if I get Delta, it could be super tragic. The one thing that gets me is where the hell do they come with these names? I don't know. That's dope. Where do they come up with hurricane names? 
They all Hurricane get, all Irene. Get, I'll wait for my name to come up. Can you imagine Hurricane Kevin? Yeah. And you'd just be like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> it's awesome, but it's not. Like, Hurricane Lamont destroys <laughs> and you're like, say, fuck. We just say fucking Kevin. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, as soon as they say Hurricane Kevin, yup, he's destroying lives. <laughs> well, what they can say is, regardless of the drivers, you can tell the sports are not giving a shit. Because they're like, yo, we're going to vote full capacity. Because you can no, tell. No, he signed. He said, yes, you do, and they have a card to show that you... Yeah, I have the card, but I didn't sign that shit. He didn't sign... Did you... Were they didn't tell you to? Nah, they just gave me the... Um, they look you up in the system, blah, 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 and all that shit, but... Nah, I have a card and everything. Um, yeah, so that's a sports thing. Um, I feel like as an economy, we lost so much la- money last year that, like, you know, fuck it. We're running full capacity of football season, of football this year, basketball too. Um, I ain't gonna lie to you, um, next year... I plan on going to Colton Eagles game. Regardless of what's going on in the world, I'm still going. Gobby, he didn't sign a waiver and let me know. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> I was looking at tickets to Eagles games this year. So, no matter what, I'm still going. Regardless if there's fucking half the world gone already, I'm still going to go to the Colton Eagles game next year. Yeah, facts. Um, yeah, uh, we're, we got to be smart people, like, as, as a group. Let's not be retarded, please. Uh, we're going to end up killing a lot of people. Um, and that's something that should be on your conscience. Like, if you accidentally kill somebody, come on, man, because you being selfish... Put a fucking mask on, pussy. Like, I wish I knew who didn't. I wish the niggas that was vaccinated had to wear it on their thing right here, right, so you could see it. So then when I see someone without a mask who don't have it, I would smack the fucking dog shit out of them because you're being selfish. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're not washing your hands because a lot of y'all niggas dirty as fuck. I'm just going to keep it 100. Y'all so dirty that this is how it keeps getting passed. Like, uh, like niggas, well, oh, man. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Um, Everyone who gets the shot has to sign a waiver. He, nigga, he's telling you he didn't sign a waiver. What do you want me to tell you? I just made the appointment, go in, they gave me the card. They put yeah. My name and that was it. Because he, he went through his job. You didn't go to a hospital, right? I went to a clinic. A clinic. So, well, that clinic is going to get a lawsuit soon. Yeah. Guess what? <clears throat> Give me my money. Monies. Sh- money. Um, okay, so let's go. I mean, uh, so what I want to ask you, a, like a video game that you played recently or you've been into or you've seen stuff that you would recommend for people to play is there one on your like you would tell the chat uh, like hey try this out but guys who have a ps5 which is not many of them <laughs> the two right here but um we're actually playing dope as game the graphics are amazing um the gameplay is amazing the upgrades amazing um it's a phenomenal game fortunately i just been so busy with so many things i haven't had the same time to play it more but as of right now i've been playing ratchet clank um i can't i think it's time riff or something like that yes the game is phenomenal. Griffin time. Yeah, it's phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal fun. Like I said before, um, you play as two characters, um, Ratchet, and then you play the girl version where there's, it's a multiverse. Like how the Marvels are heading into, it's a multiverse as well too, and it's definitely a great game. I, I truly love it. Um, it's a fun game. It's it, it's not. I'm not gonna say quote unquote best game ever, but it's it's just it's a fun. It's, it's a good time. You know what I mean? Like granted, because like PS5 is a new system that came out. <laughs> And um, you see what God be put. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't know he signed, but he signed. <laughs> <laughs> but money he did. I mean, yo, they might have something with your job. That's true. They could have finessed them scrap. That's a good fucking point, my brother. So yeah, so like Magic thing, the dope game. Like I said, we should all realize by now when the new system comes out. Um, not a lot of games is coming out. So right now, this is all I have to what next year, twenty twenty two, when PS five starts. Please? Launch on more games, so I mean, you know, I think you're welcome. Yeah, if if you're into single player games, which is I, I am the most. Yeah, he doesn't like playing with his friend, you know. <laughs> I, I barely. Yeah, this is the first time I heard from him in like two weeks, guys. So <laughs> the fuck out <laughs> I'm here. capping. Um, let me see. Scrap said people already died from the shot, and they their families can't sue. Yes, Scrap, you are correct. That's if you signed a waiver, but. It, now, let's be honest. If Kevin did not sign a waiver and he dies, he has a lawsuit. We all know that. Okay, as Lamont already known, I've been buying a crap load of jerseys lately. So in the spirit, that spirit, favorite jersey and grail jersey. So what's your favorite jersey? Like now, I, I would get, well, what's your favorite jersey all time? And then what's your grail jersey? I'm going to start this one. My favorite jersey right now has to be the Miami Heat Cotton Cunt. Candy, God, cotton candy, so that shit is fire. Uh, I fucking love it. My holy grail jersey for me. <sighs> hmm. I, a lot of people are gonna say Jordan, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do Jordan. Um. 
Holy Grail for me will probably be uh, <laughs> a throwback Reggie White Eagles jersey mm-hmm. because Reggie White was probably one of the greatest defensive ends of all fucking mm-hmm. time. Um, but I want to say second, I do love the Lakers white and blue. That shit is so smooth. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, I would get a Westbrook jersey in that one. For sure. So what is your favorite and then Holy Grail? All, all right. right. I can right. imagine your Holy so, Grail. My favorite jersey right now is the 2018 Cavaliers LeBron jersey when it was a burgundy jersey. That's hands down the best, best jersey. Wait, what's the thing again? 2018 Cavaliers um, LeBron jersey with the burgundy one. It matches with anything. You can put anything on and it's going with it. I love that jersey. I, like, next time, um, I, I wore one of my Dakota Sports episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a nice jersey. It's, it's beautiful. Man. I truly love it. Um, it's crazy. It fits nice and all that stuff. Um, the colors are amazing. Um, That's a nice jersey, Josh. Ray Allen Bucks, black Ooh. with purple deer. I ain't gonna lie, that is fire. Now, for the Holy Grail jersey, Lewis, I gotta test to you. You bought me my Andrew Love jersey for his rookie season. Um, I will never forget that man. I wore so many that jersey, so many game winners, so many. I went to so many games wearing that, that jersey. Um, if forever, I will forever have so many memories with that jersey. To me personally. It's one of my favorite holy yep. you, I do have a second holy girl jersey. It holds a special place in my heart. Like I had it since his rookie season, even so, you know, I wore it but every single I home thought game. you were gonna say like a throwback Peyton Manning jersey. Ah, nah, like know. rookie season. The reason why the reason why I say that because like Peyton Manning, I I when I became a Colts fan, he was by a year four already in. So I didn't really grow with him. Andrew, nah, yeah, Andrew you, Luck, grew with I, Luck. you knew Nah, you were hurt. Andrew Luck, I, I followed him since Stanford. I told you, Andrew Luck is, is a great fucking court. He's going to be amazing when he coaches the I NFL. I said it to you. And didn't, wait, didn't we agree he was going to be better than Robert Griffin? Mm-hmm. Okay. And like I said, I've been following Andrew Luck since Stanford all the way to you know, thing, and I'm still a fan of this Scrap, day. Thank you for the like, my brother. I'm and sorry about that. To me personally, that, that's the hands down, will forever go a special place in my heart. Granted, I have a big-ass stain on that jersey, but I don't give a fuck. I'm not throwing that shit away. You want- I'm, I'm walking to the day I die. A jersey that I like a lot that I did not mention. Uh, Gabby, I'm going to say thank you for the like on your main page in G2G 420. Everybody, go to G2G 420 and get that man a follow. He he streams like we do. He's a great streamer, great game player. Uh, give him like a love. Now, as I, I meant to tell my brother-in-law, look for it, by the way. I need me a Dwayne Wade and Marquette jersey. Just because, let me tell you, Kevin, and you know, Stevie P, what's up, my brother? We're on Facebook with it, too, Stevie. God's dirty hands. Come follow me, bro. Um, Man, Dwayne Wade. And you know I used to play ball a lot. And I used to do that same move he did, the between the legs step back. Now, Wade did it before Harden, but he did it smooth where it was one motion. It wasn't a walk. Um, <laughs> Yes, Louis. Got it. Yes, my guy. Um. Man, whoo! That's definitely a Holy Grail jersey. Uh, I looked up to Wade in so many ways. Uh, and you know, and you can contest, like, when we got Shaq, I was like, that's it. That's it. Nah. Because I always felt like Wade was the second coming of Jordan. And it was probably disrespectful to Kobe, so I apologize, Kobe. But if Wade never got hurt, he might have literally been the best two guard. It's, I mean... It was just like Jordan. I'm going to dunk on you. I can shoot mid-range. I'll hit a three if I need to. But it I happens. I thought personally what really messed up Wade the most is that shoulder injury after the championship year and then his knee just blowing, you know, just giving giving up on him. But, Swords. Lewis, if you could put another one into your list. <laughs> the black-on-black Miami Heat LeBron jersey. Oh, bro, I need that one too. Ooh. I need the black-on-black and the white-on-white. Ooh. We were talking about these jerseys. Yo, yo, I'm thinking of like, yo, which one's in my mission? I don't have the black on black. Remember, I, I told you to look for a white side when white side signed that big deal. But I need the white on white too, Louis. Come on, bro. Get the work. Yeah, Kev. Black on black. Kawhi Leonard. Ooh. Yash, that's a good one. Mm. That's a good one. But you know, yo, low key, you want to... <laughs> A player I liked, but I didn't. Like, I knew he wasn't going to be great in the NBA in college. Tyler Hansborough, North mm-hmm. Carolina. I always was like, yo, this white boy. But I was like, he's not going to be able to do this against real people. But, Josh, that's a great jersey. Black or white? Been looking expensive so far. You, you, 
I know we're going a little bit face, but one of my favorite players from college ever will be Jimmy Fredette. Yo, Jim, that motherfucker should have been. He's, you know what? I want to say he was like kind of black bold. He didn't get a real chance. You know another player that I felt like didn't get a real shot? Michael Beasley. Tar Hills, baby. Steve Nash and Claire. All right. No, no. You know what? I seen in the mall last week and nigga almost went and bought. I'm just going to say it said Lower Mary in number 33. That's Kobe mm. Bryant, baby. I was like, I told Vanessa, I was like, yo, you support me? She was like, of course. I was like, I can't. I, can't. <laughs> I just bought stuff. I was hold on, hold on, hold on. Another one. St. Vincent Mary. The He's Jake. bought someone there. <laughs> Who he has found it. <laughs> we got it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, what did he say? Been looking at some tars. Wait, babe, what are you talking about? We got it and the Pippin one too. What what's a jersey you hate? Okay, I got it. I got it. Green Dallas Mavericks. Listen. God damn it, that's why. Why? Why? <laughs> Bro, it looks like fucking throw up. Now, but the white and gold is fuego. Not and I got Gordo a jersey, Don Chick of that. He better fucking wear it, little bitch. <laughs> Stevie P in the building, baby, with the like. Yeah, the, I, I, I don't like the, the, the city jersey, the Mavericks. It's it's, it's ugly. The, the, the green one, though. Yeah, it's I don't, I don't, I don't like. No, man, I'm not rocking with it, man. Um, yeah, man, that's crazy. That's definitely crazy. Oh, I uh, know. Oh, and, and another jersey I like. I'm sorry to say this is the Eagles yellow and baby blue. Yo, that is ugly. Pound it, man. Pound it, man. <laughs> that is ugly. Uh, but, I'm sorry. but I'll say this. Oh, I'm sorry. You know why I like it? Because we beat the Lions. We almost scored like seventy on them. Yeah. So I, I was like, woo! But I was like, this shit is type ugly. Like, not for a football jersey. The yellow was too much for me. Yeah. Pre-ordered both Jordan and Pippen. Which one? The USA Funkos or the jerseys, Louis? Pippen, not, Pippen's sure. best jersey, I think, was on the Blazers. Yo. Color wise. I've been color looking wise. for that for my dad, man. A Pippen Portland oh, jersey. Oh, Pop, Pops is, is, a, is a Blazers fan, right? Yeah. It's all time, buddy. Yeah, nah. I mean, listen. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Uh, nah, he's on the plane right now, so he won't hear us. Yeah. But <laughs> US Funkos. We already got him, baby. I got him both. Go to Target. Target. Uh. Allentown Airport Road, they had a shit ton of them. Uh, the Jordan, no, they had like five Jordan left and like maybe six Scotty Pippins. A jersey you hate though, besides, oh, you said two, so let me think. Damn, I just thought of another jersey I like though. I like the Bucks, the throwback orange. Nah, shit type not. Fuego. Um, damn, man. Do you know I like to? I, I do I, hate I, the I, Eagles I, one. I'm gonna be biased is when, when the Colts wear the dark blue with the two horseshoes behind their helmets. Oh, that's great. We played you in, in that game when you fucking um, busted Austin Collie's brains out. Well, um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> okay, so my game, because we got off, we answered y'all questions. Yeah, so definitely. Let me talk about the game that I, I choose. Now, my uh, Gordo had it before anybody I know, because he bought a beach PC. He got it free. And my, uh, my 13-year-old played. It's called The Forest. And then I seen my brother, uh, Gavi, and I seen Kelvin. They were playing it. And it brought back so many, like, I'm like, oh, shit, I wanted to play this. Yo, this game is so dope, and that's why I told you to get it, Kev. It's literally plane crash, boom. You got, like, mutated people on an island. You got to build shelter. You got to find your kid. You got to, mind you, you see your kid get taken. Nigga, I'm playing. I'm walking around. I'm trying to go to one of my, one of my beach house. I got a beach house, so I'm over, and over there. A giant mutant. I said, whoa, 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 I'm a bitch ass nigga. I'm not doing this. <laughs> so it's a it's a good game. Anybody, uh, Josh is supposed to download it. I told Kev to download it. Uh, the Forest. It's definitely a good game. It's not cross platform, but if you have people that play PlayStation Five, PS Four, Xbox, the same system as you PC, definitely recommend. It. It's a great game. Definitely a great game. Now speaking of video games, Madden came out with ninety nine Club. I'm gonna read the names: Mahomes, Ramsey. Okay. Kelsey, yeah, Donald, yes. and Devontae motherfucking Adams. Yes, I agree with all that. Okay, I agree with them. Here's what I don't agree with. Now, I'm going to give you a... I'm going to give you a few... Uh, just the stats of a player that I felt like should have been 99 club. 378 carries. 200... Two, um, 200... 2,027 yards. He averaged 5.4 yards per carry. He had a 94-yard run. 17 touchdowns, 16 runs of 20 or plus yards, and four 40 yard runs, only three fumbles. I already know who it is. Should that be 99? 
Derek Henry? Yes. Of course. That should be a 99. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that was disrespectful. Now, I'm going to read again. Chat, I'm gonna, you know, I got, I got to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it up for Kev real quick. Okay, 390 passes out of 588, 66.3 percentage, 4,740 yards, 8.1 yards per throw, 75 is the longest, 38 to six, and 238 first downs. Okay, now the second guy, 300. And 72 passes completed out of 526, okay? 70.7% completion, 4,299 yards, 8.2 per throw, 78 yards was his longest pass, 48 to 5. So 48 touchdowns to 5 interceptions. So for you who can't can do the math, that's 9 to 1. Okay. Can, I, can I guess who it is? 216 first times. Who is it? Aaron Rodgers. Okay. <laughs> Why the fuck Aaron Rodgers ain't 99? <laughs> listen, listen. No disrespect to Mahomes. But right now, you can't tell me Tom Brady and Rodgers ain't 99. Um, but, hey, and I hate Tom Brady and I said that. L doing too much talking. Wow. Eat a dick. What's your thoughts? People who do the, the matter ratings just go off names. And what team they play for, and you know mm-hmm. what they have done. Um, it's not like that. Um, you got to really look the body of work if you're gonna do a true rating. Um, I'm gonna be biased. I'm gonna talk about the coach real quick. Quinn Nelson, it's hands down, probably one of the best cards in the NFL, or probably the best card. Hasn't given up zero sacks in the past couple of years. Um, how is he not a 99? Um, Darius Leonard, how is he not in the 90s? But he's an 89. But he's probably top three linebacker in the game. That doesn't make sense. Um, uh, DeAndre Hopkins, he's a 98. Why is he a 99? He made the catch of the year. He, his catch radius is... Wait, he's an 89, you said? 98. 98. How is one point less thing, you know what I mean? The 99 has become overrated lately. Um, because Aaron Rodgers, how is he not a 99? He had, he's an MVP. Doesn't that test to being a 99 player? He had the best, mm-hmm. near quote-unquote, best, best player in the NFL, right? And MVP? Yeah, most valuable player. As the best player in the NFL? Right or wrong? <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying, I'm trying to hear Kevin's sweet, sweet voice. Oh, it make you moist. Yeah, but I agree with you. If you're the though. MVP, you're the best player in the NFL, that means you're automatically a uh, 99. Um, like I said, pe- teams that play in the low market teams, they're not going to get that shine. Um, Patrick Mahomes might be, cause, just because of his name, what he's done, how yeah. he has you know the strong arm and everything, he's probably going to be 99 for the next five years, but to if, be honest. But my question is this, okay, because, you know, I just... The question was, like, who you think should be. I just feel like if you put Mahomes 99, you have to put Brady and Rodgers 99, minimum. And on top of that, the MVP should be 99. This is, but this is what I feel, too. How you have Adams a 99, but Rodgers not. So you're telling me Devontae's making uh, Rodgers? That's, that's how I would take it. But remember, the people who are doing it are not smart because Aaron Rodgers has been doing it before Adams became a, a player in the NFL. Yeah, that's true. He's made Donald Driver shine. He has made um, Greg Jennings. Greg Jennings, I, I like a lot. Um, Jordy Nelson. Jordy Nelson. Now Devontae Adams, like he has shined with most of us here. So it's whoever, not, not even who's the tight end they got right now. The white boy, eighty-five, who's killing it with Rogers throwing him the ball. Oh, um, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with the ninety-nines. Uh, people, they, 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 I don't think they, they know what they're doing. Yeah, so. <laughs> Yo, did, hold on, did you see the uh, uh, Brady trying to get his speed right in up oh, in yeah, yeah, he, that, he, he said, <laughs> oh, that's, that was definitely fucking funny. Damn, I skipped the number when I did this because I'm retarded. No, I didn't. Okay. All right, so I did not, I did not talk to Kev about this at all because I'm just going to say it and uh, Oh, let's take a shot for this one because this one is disrespectful. Oh, this is disrespectful. Anybody, Scrap, I know you probably drinking. Josh, you drinking. If you're not, if you are, we're going to take a shot, take a swig. Celebrate culture talks. Salute. Hensky. Okay. <laughs> if I tell you I want. OG, 
an, 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 uh, uh, I can't say his name, whatever. Kyle Larry, Fred Van Vliet, and a fourth round pick. What are you expecting? A lot or a little? A lot. Hold on, time out. You see this nigga? I quit drinking. Scrap. My nigga, I'm about to block you. Tell me another lie like that. Lying ass. It's bad for my... <laughs> it's for your liver, you dumbass. It's bad for your liver. He said Larry. No, it's uh, Ananobi. The Sixers offered the Raptors that for Ben Simmons. What are your thoughts on that? Sixers are naive. I don't think they understand that the entire world watched the Hawks. <laughs> I hate this nigga. He's just being a dick. I don't. Th I don't think the Sixers understand that the whole world saw the Sixers and Hawks game seven, and they understand that Ben Simmons did not play with zero motivation. Uh, did not take zero. Did, didn't do nothing. In fact, so you know to boost his trade um, credibility. Mm -hmm. um, and the day I said it the last time we was on the show, um, Sixers should have pulled that trigger for James Harden. Right now, they would have been in a better place. But Sixers thought that Ben Simmons would be this type of player, you know, dominant the game, blah, 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 blah. Ben Simmons is not. Um, another thing, I don't know if you saw, um, Sixers asked for Andrew Wiggins, James Wiseman, mm -hmm. the 17th pick, the 14th pick for Ben Simmons. Seven, 14, and two future first rounds. As of right now, you're going to meet Lamar for Ben Simmons. Not much. Oh, you want to hear something more disrespectful? They contacted Miami. <laughs> you want to know what the, the offer was? Jimmy Baller? Jimmy for Ben. Hi, <laughs> 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 Mariko. Um, yeah, that was crazy. Uh, <laughs> I feel like this. Um, it's mental, but Ben could still be a great player. Um, here's something that I noticed, too. Uh, we put a lot of pressure on these young guys. Um. Calling Ben the next LeBron, that's a lot of pressure. Um, and even with saying that, it just made it just clicked in my head. We need to value LeBron more. He was labeled the next Michael Jordan. At seventeen years old, that's a lot of pressure. Seventeen and or sixteen, forever. I can't remember. He came out the womb. No, he came out the womb. Like he was just came out the womb six eight. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah like um. And LeBron handled it great. Like if you want to look at his career, yes, he has losses in the finals, but. Some of those teams, I don't think anybody could have won with those teams. Um, we've seen it with AI. You could win one game or a few games with a team, but you can't win the series. Um, man, Ben was labeled the next LeBron. I think that was the mistake. Um, I feel like you need to give him a real comparison. Now, I'm going to tell you who my comparison to Ben is, and you tell me if I'm wrong. <sighs> Ray John Rondo. He's just bigger. Can't shoot. He will defend and shut you down. Rebound and pass the ball. Now, if you would have came out of college and said, Ben, you are the next Rajon Rondo, you just probably have a little bit more scoring ability. Are we looking at him like he's a bust? We label these dudes too highly, um, and it's not fair. <laughs> he came out the room with a whole basketball. Facts, like, it is what it is. Um, man, it's crazy, bro. Uh, Sixers are fucked. You, you have to give them away, essentially. Like, that's why I was thinking, like, when they were, because they're talking to Miami, and I'm like, but you're not going to give up Hero. You're not going to give up Precious, who you just drafted last year. You're not giving up Bam. You're not giving up Butler. What do you give up? Kendrick Duncan? Nunn? Duncan? Like, but Duncan's a free agent. Oh, sorry. Yo, sorry. I ain't going to lie. I think the Lakers are going to sign Duncan. I have a bad feeling about it. <laughs> uh -huh. But, yeah. Shout out to Westbrook going to Los Angeles. Oh. Uh, he is one of them players that I always be like, man, if he wins a ring, you can't be mad because Mr. Triple Double, but one thing I say about the Westbrook trade, um, it's gonna work. The reason why is when Bradley Beal was out, um I, I forgot who the Wizards Center was, but him and them were uh, a phenomenal Robin Lopez. Yeah, were, were, was a a phenomenal combination. Westbrook in the eighty. And eighty is gonna play center this year. Anyway. Oh, one thing before we move on. Um, I before I before I came here to record, the mother Rosen said that he's willing to take a league minimum to play with the Lakers. Oh no, that's a done deal. That's a done deal. It's he's willing to take twenty million dollars less to play with the Lakers. But did you hear that it's not just him that wants to play there? Melo. No, no, Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry wants to play there. Um, listen, the Lakers are in an amazing position. Um, 
uh, I seen something, so I got to ask you. It said, Westbrook, LeBron, AD, better than Kyrie, Harden, Durant. Your thoughts? Because we didn't say we were going to touch on this on sports, so I got to ask you here. Yes. You think you think the Lakers have the better big three? Yes. The reason why? They're better mentally. Kyrie Irving, uh, you haven't got her. Was, Josh, are you watching this? Just said he um, canceled or exited his um, contract with Rock Nation. Where's Rock Nation? He's giving him. He's giving him a week. Wait, wait, where's Rock Nation from? New York. <laughs> That's been confirmed. He went out of New York already. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing about Kyrie Irving, no matter <laughs> what, um, he's somebody who's never happy. He's never happy. He has mental um, issues. He has severe mental issues. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, there's been times where his. I'm not gonna say he's a great player. I'm not gonna take that away from him. Great, phenomenal player. One the clutchest player I've seen probably since Kobe. But mentally, he's just not all there. I don't think he's really fully yeah. invested into basketball, and um, that's gonna cost <laughs> you know the Nets next year. I'm gonna be honest with you, and I said this off camera. I'm gonna say it on camera. Um, Kyrie hasn't been mentally right since Party Next Door fucked his bitch. <laughs> Am I lying? Am I lying? I mean, they hit the game, the dagger in Game Seven. Has Kyrie been had not taken mad mental PTO since Party Next Door fucked his bitch? But can they do that? No, 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 no. Yes or no? No. Yeah, exactly. You know why? If a Canadian nigga holla at your bitch, just shoot him. I'm going to just keep it real with y'all niggas. He's taking it. Yeah, we, 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 we got to hold it down, America. You're disappointing me. <laughs> uh, you write about Kyrie mentally. He's all over the place. I Right now, but I want to give Kyrie credit for this. He's more on his human shit, nah, of like making the world better than basketball. Can you really knock a man for that? No. Then get the fuck off the court. <laughs> no offense, Kyrie. You slowing up the you slowing that's, up that process. That's, then, that's baby. why I give the Lakers the edge over Nets. Not because of the player um, playmaking all that ability. I just play them mentally. LeBron's oh. a strong mentally player. I know someone we have to tag because I'm about to say something about him. Okay, we're gonna tag Tyler. Oh. Um. Yeah, um, LeBron, he's one of the strongest mental players in the NBA, ever, ever. You know what I'm saying? I know, I'm a little tipsy. <laughs> 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 All right, so AD. AD. Besides won, injury. AD, besides the injuries, once you smack him in the face, he turns it up. And he can be easily one of the best big men to ever play this game. Ever. It's injury that slows and him down. And Westbrook, I feel like this is the first time that he's going to have some, a commodity team that have great leadership. Kevin Durant, he's more of a silent leader. You know what I mean? He's not, you know, uh, you know. Kevin Durant just takes it in and then he goes. Uh, when he went to the Rockets, he was a hard and chill with a little baby most of the time. That's what they were doing. And then he still went to chills the, with a little baby all the time. It's weird. Yeah, and, and then he, he went to um, Bradley Bill with the Wizards. Um, Bradley Bill's more of a scorer than a leader, and, and there was potential that team to be great, but it never, it never clicked just because they didn't have the, you know, great surrounding cast around them. Yeah, he's going to Lakers. With an amazing and, cast. and I feel like LeBron's going to be the third option on this team, which I am all for. You know, it's crazy because I, I literally told Tyler that. I said, I feel like LeBron is the uh, taking. Okay, <clears throat> let me say it like I told him. If LeBron takes the back seat and lets West, I mean, LeBron could basically be a facilitator because um, imagine using Westbrook like you use Curry, but when you get that screen, you're throwing a oop. Because let's be honest, uh, LeBron is an amazing all-around player. He's going to give you defense. I think sometimes what hurt LeBron is he tries to make the non-selfish plays when sometimes you got to be selfish. Um, but this team is kind of scary for that. Um, Kev, which Lakers jersey, the light blue and white from two years ago? Appreciate you stopping by, Scrap. I love you, my my nigga. Kelvin, thank you for the uh, share, actually. Appreciate it. Which jersey? He's asking you, nigga. Kev, which Lakers jersey? The light blue and white from two years ago? Yes, sir. First of all, let me shout out my wife, right? This happy hour shirt right here. She just bought it for me. This shit is dope, actually. She's a great wife. Yeah, she's, she's all right. Shout out to Vanessa. She's all right. Don't gas her up too much. <laughs> she ain't make my chicken last night. So uh, you know I mean? that's it. Nah. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. She's an amazing wife. She's an amazing wife. She dealt with a lot of shit with me. Um, 
Scrap, I don't know if you want to go, because the last topic is kind of, uh, but whatever. Anyway, anybody got any questions before? Because this last topic, I just want to save. So if anybody got any questions, y'all like us to answer. Well, the thing is, with, with LeBron, set a step back. Remember, he wants to give Kyrie the keys of the Cavaliers franchise, but Kyrie, uh, Kyrie was like, I want to be my own guy. And the guys worked out for him. To this day, he's still a Robin. Um. Yeah. So, but I've been willing to take. Oh, I want to. I want to take that step back. I want. Yeah. You know what I mean? And AD's been doing that. Taking him when he's healthy. Yeah, AD is only. It's only health uh, hindering AD and the Lakers because when you have players like LeBron and AD, um, they're gonna give you so many points that having other players who they are. You just need about from the whole roster. You're only gonna need about another 30, 40 points. So that's 10 people. If you get 10 people together, give me 40, we'll win. That's not bad at all. I I, I think that's not bad. Uh, the Lakers are always scary just because LeBron is – people don't want to say it, but he's the greatest all-around basketball player of all time. Oh, all around. All around. I'm a, Jordan and Kobe, they're in a different category. They were killers. LeBron doesn't have that. Nah. I mean, you can agree. LeBron's not a killer. He's not going to go out there to kill you. But when he does have that killer, he is when fucking he, scary. But now, this is my thing. Imagine if LeBron had Michael Jordan or Kobe's killer dog. I think he would literally average like 35 every season because you – not maybe more because he's like Wilt back in the day. It's like Le, like LeBron's like this, <sighs> football, blah, 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 well, dunk. Is- one of the most scary games I ever saw was Game Six of Boston. He dropped forty-five and fifteen when he was in the night killer shit. When he knew his legacy was on the line, he was like, "You know, what? I'll take care of this myself." LeBron is a person that is like, because I used to play basketball. I got offered a scholarship, and then it was just like to me, it was like I proved the the, the bullshit or haters wrong, right? LeBron is uh, he wants to prove motherfuckers wrong, and he does it so that it's like, all right, once I prove you wrong, I'm not gonna go super hard. But another person that was like that, Calvin Johnson. Mm. I've read a report that another player was like, yo, Calvin would see how much they say you bench press it 225, 20 times. He'll do 21 and stop. And he's like, yo, he's not tired. Why don't you do more? He said, I don't, I don't want to make people feel any way. Randy. Chris, what up, man? Oh, what was your secret? Missy Big Dog. Oh, Chris. No, nah, so, it's so. Um, a boy. Girl. If I was... Wasn't on my way to a fest right now. I stay on with you ladies. Wow, we're ladies now? All right. You're a little whore. <laughs> nah. <laughs> what Randy said. Lake show. T- <laughs> Yo, you keep jinxing them. <laughs> Why, Randy? When are you going to learn? <laughs> Me and you going to talk again. Because now you know what's going to happen. We're going to get Bradley Bill. We're going to get Dame. And you're going to be over there crying. Because remember, Dame low-key wants out. Uh, Bill Lowkey wants out. There's a lot of players in the NBA that want out. I'm going to ask a question. What would you say if Kyrie ever wants to trade? <laughs> to where? <laughs> to where? <laughs> Have he demands a trade again. To who? Out of Brooklyn? <sighs> I can see it happening, to be honest with you. You know where I would trade him? To be a dick? Okay, see. Him for Kemba. <laughs> Two players that are not happy no matter where they're at. Uh, trade them together. Uh, Chris Paul, free agent, though. Right now, Suns are, you know, on high pursuit to sign him again. But, have to. but the Pelicans are looking at him. But I don't like... Well, no, they get Steve Adams. No matter what you say about Chris Paul, he elevates the team. You know, I, I low-key, I want him in Miami. Him in Miami will be vicious. Because he didn't score in the finals, but Butler would. Mm. So it will work out. Um, You know what player I've been, I've been keeping my eye on, low-key? Lonzo Ball. I feel like uh, he going to have to take a little bit less money. But on the right team, Lonzo's going to kill. I think he'd be a great fit in um, Chicago. Him and Levine? Yeah. So Levine can play the two? Mm. That's vicious. That's, yeah, it is. That is. And they got, they got Vujicic with Macon. Or New York. New York is a player. I heard Dame wants to play in New York. Him and a Randall will be amazing. Oh, man, there's so many possibilities. Damn, man. So many teams. So many. 
I, we live in a day and age, and the NFL is way ahead of the NFL. And I want to say this because players could control the NBA. Oh, you don't want to. You don't want to. No, hear. no. But the NFL is changing their culture of being like the Sean wants like dictatorship. I, I, yes. Cause, yeah, but because the, the, the Sean wants is like you know what? I'll come just so I don't get fined. Yeah, yeah. But I still want my trade. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Aaron Rodgers like, I'll play for this year, but you're gonna call, you're gonna avoid my next but, year. But where did they learn it from? NBA players. and the NBA. But I respect Rodgers. Rodgers was like. You're going to void my contract after 2023. So, basically, it's a one-year deal mm-hmm. with an option. And you're going to bring back who I say. Because did you see the GM say, oh, yeah, we brought him back basically because Aaron said? So, Aaron's the GM technically. So, basically, Aaron said that if you want me to come back, you better be gonna give me some pieces. Or that I want. That I want. Not what you want, what I want. Or I'm going to choose where I want to go. So, let me sip to that. Aaron, I salute you, my brother. You're, you're invited to all the cookouts. <laughs> it's a fact, man. Um, it's just so much, bro. That like sports, like sports is like really like a, a relief from this fucking <laughs> COVID and all these monkeypox and all these diseases. It's like sports is really a fresh, uh, a breath of fresh air. Sports for me, I'm, I'm probably a bigger football fan than basketball fan. It's the most stressful, best thing in the world. First off, stop lying. I probably know. Uh, he's definitely a more football than basketball by far, <laughs> but yes, it is a. We love to be stressed by it though, low key. <laughs> the fuck I don't. Low, I'm yes, tired of being stressed. You're a liar. Every goddamn he's Sunday. A liar. He's a he's a fucking liar. Yo, we text each other every Sunday after loss. I fucking aim. No, 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 no. I'm gonna blow my brains off. This nigga be od. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get vids and all that shit. That shit is crazy. Kevin's crazy when it comes to football. But. No, I am, but. I take it more serious in the playoffs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But we, I, I that, think anybody that does. when it comes to playoffs, the heart, the heart hurts the most. Yeah, the heart for sure. I can see, I can see that being a definite thing, brother man. Um, damn, what was I gonna ask you? So, how excited are you for football? Even though it's gonna be training camp and shit. All right, so I was super excited. Um. Carson Wentz threw a 45-yard bomb. I'm not going to say too much, but because Coach Wentz is coming Monday. He threw a 45-yard bomb. Beautiful, beautiful. I was like, oh, my God. I started talking shit to all my uh, Eagle friends. And then Karma. Like who? Like who? You. But um, uh, well, what did I say? What did I say? Give me my first round pick. I bitch. said just as long as you get my first round pick and then get hurt in the playoffs. All right. <laughs> right? I said yeah, that? I said to Tyler. <laughs> I said it to um, Josh. I sent to a bunch of my Eagles fans. Um, um thing next day later this man's foot is hurt you know what makes me concerned they're not saying how serious it is and that's the worst part of it. when the coach don't say how serious it is it is serious coming to say Peyton Manning's neck wasn't serious he was gone for the season when I said Angel Lux's uh, shoulder wasn't serious he was gone for the season when they say Angel Lux's ankle was gone for the season the man retired and now I'm back to fucking square one when they said his well, ankle wasn't serious. they said they're just not sure if he's going to start week one um, my thing is more with a foot. It's something that the, is going to be continuous. What I read, the worst case scenario is he missed four. He missed four games, and that leaves him playing sixty nine percent of the um, season. So that leaves with the Eagles not getting a first round pick. But no, because that's not true. It's if you if he plays seven uh, seventy or makes the playoffs. That team is going to make the playoffs, though. That's why I'm not worried about. It. I'm not worried about. I I know wins. He's going to play hurt. He's not missing four games. He might miss one. Might miss two. Three or four. He'll play He'll play that 70%. He's going to make the playoffs. It's 75 if you don't make the playoffs. Um, Worst case scenario, I see him missing probably the rest of the training camp preseason. My, my only issue is this. You're on a new team. you got to build the camaraderie. And you go down. And I love Wentz, you know it. I'm gonna be. I, I only get mad that you send me shit because I feel like we fucked up. Um, fuck up. They fucked up. Uh, Wentz is gonna have an MVP year. To me, for injury or not. To me, me personally, I feel like Wentz is the best potential quarterback ever in Eagles history. To be the greatest. Oh, Wentz was the best quarterback, but Philly is just so hard on people that we disrespected him. Um, he was. What was he? Thirteen wins without him, or twelve? Twelve and one with when with him, 
and we lost two and one or some shit like that. Um, Wentz is gonna go down as the biggest mistake in Eagles history, and uh, I'm not cool with it, but I'm cool with it. So fuck him. And he looked very happy. Unfortunately, while well, I'm saying here, the best part of the reason why I'm asking because of the Colts is because it's in the Midwest where he's from, and he loves them hunts and shit. Yeah, he's just he's at home. Yeah, he's at home. Oh, uh, he's very comfortable there. Uh, Indianapolis is similar to North Dakota, uh, just more populated. So yeah, they hunt. And guys, I'm gonna hit you with a conspiracy theory. Carson Wentz went to the Colts, his number two team. Changed his jersey to number two. His baby, he has another baby, baby number two. He has a Super Bowl, guess what? Super Bowl number two, <laughs> it's coming. He, I mean, he sends me this dumb shit all the time, guys. But it makes sense, though. Whatever, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking guess at this point. I'm not arguing with you. Um, I want the Colts to do good, though. That's my, that's my AFC team. So I'm not going to be a, a super hater. But it is what it was. Fuck you, Colts, anyway. Shout out to the Colts. Anything you want to talk about, brother, man? Ah, this is, is going to the last topic. Oh, okay. Uh, mm. I want to know your thoughts on Little Nas X saying he, will be, he would perform a benefit concert naked. Mind you, children will be watching this. So what are your thoughts on that, brother, man? Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Um, I feel like they're pushing the agenda, you know, with the um, certain things, and you know what I mean? And I feel like um, with that happening, it's being forced down children's throat with, you know, certain things. And I, I'm not really with it, you know what I mean? If he was to do that, so be it. But it should be like a, a late night thing, you know, when, you know, teenagers are up late night, you know what I mean? And adults. Um, no children I'm not. that. Like the video for the you know Cardi B WAP, I love it. It's cool as shit. It's but dope. It's cool for it, who? Adults. Us, adults, teenagers. Adults that are horny, but, the <laughs> but not the children. Is, we live in an era where kids have free access to everything now. You know, we had access like that when we were kids, but not as much as uh, you know we they do have now. Um, the whole the little uh, eyes thing, like it's cool. You know, you want to do that? I'm all for it. You know, I support you, but it should be more really like adults. How can I say like adult swim type of thing? Agree. 12 o'clock at night, boom, adults from time, and I think that that'd be perfect for them. Now, I don't think it should be like a 12 in the afternoon, live on YouTube, yo, watch my, you know. It shouldn't be a prime time thing. Yeah, it should be a, a late night thing. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, anything with kids, I'm super, uh, super cautious of. I don't like when people, uh, like, that's a, that's an ignorant comment. Because then, um, you're sitting here. And you're attacking the baby for the baby's comments, and uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna say his comments, what he said, word for word. I'm a, uh, then I want you to tell me if he was wrong, and if he was purposely being disrespectful. Okay. If you didn't show up to this show with HIV or AIDS, or any of them sexually transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two to three weeks. To put your camera phone in the camera phone light in the air. Okay, then he proceeds with ladies, if your pussy smell like water, put a cell phone light in there. In the air. Fellas, if you ain't sucking a nigga dick in the parking lot, put your cell phone light in the air. Keep it fucking real. So, your thoughts on those comments. Was he being homophobic, do you think? Um, for you who, who are the baby fans, um, he's a controversial person. He's been doing this since day once the minute he came out and he blew up. He's a controversial person. Nothing's going to change. Um, as of now, we live during a cloud era, but we also live during a cancer culture era. And right now he's being attacked and all that stuff. And regardless how I think or not, um, cancer culture will get him. And um, whether you agree with him or not, um, it sucks that we don't live in a freedom of speech era no more, you know, because if you say the wrong thing, cancel culture will get your ass and you're out of here. Say that again, though. <laughs> if you don't say what the culture, cancel culture likes, you're out of here. Um, so cancel culture will get his ass. It's a matter of time, unfortunately. Um, yeah, his, his time has come to an end. Um, the baby had a good run, I'm not going to lie to you, but cancel culture is going to get him. Okay, so my shit with this is... The baby's wrong for saying what he said, but Lil Nas X is okay for... 
So we're going to only dissect what straight people say, not what the LG community says. So uh, let's be fair. That's all I'm saying. Let's be fair. Um, everybody deserves to be happy, to express their feelings. Uh, it's the First Amendment, correct? Freedom yeah. of speech? First Amendment. So now straight people have less of a voice than the gay community. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go to Africa. Um, I feel like I feel like um we're living in a world where which is okay. Gays have um gays have their rights, but Nobody else is supposed to have their rights. Like, gays can have their opinions. The, the, the whole community. So let me... Well, maybe I shouldn't say gay. The LG community is able to say and do whatever they want. But if you in return say or do something they don't like, it's a problem. Um, I don't quite agree with that. I feel like, why can't we all just be able to say how we feel? Do what we think is right if it makes us happy. Um, you know, it's not okay that we empower one group of people while dispowering another. If we want them to all be equal, everything has to be an even playing field. Um, you can't make it that the baby's comments are wrong while little Nas X basically said he would perform naked at a charity event which kids would watch. Okay. Um, that's my take on it, but you know, there's a there's a, a famous person that always has a comment about something. So I'm gonna read these comments. I want you to guess if you know who it is. <laughs> Says Lil Nas X said he will perform naked on stage for charity. You don't fuck with him like like you fuck with the baby. Okay, that's one. <clears throat> Be even sided. You <laughs> you don't feel that's disrespect. Go and dance naked? You don't think that's disrespect? In front of boys who trying to be straight? It's totally disrespect. If I'm at an award and he go up there dancing naked, I'm going to drag his ass off stage and beat his ass. You let a nigga dance naked in front of your children, you motherfucking crazy motherfucker. Or you like dick too. Alright, so he's definitely an old school rapper, am I right? Who do you think it is? Is it old school rapper? It's not this air. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I, I can I can tell from that. Who would you think of it? My first guess would be the game. No. If you need a lifeline, I'll tell you. I'll give you a lifeline. Yeah, I need a lifeline. He's always getting it. He's always getting a new Instagram because they ban him. Oh, Boosie. <laughs> <laughs> My man Boosie Boo, baby. Um now. What I did like what Boozy said, Boozy basically brought awareness to what Lil Nas X said and how it was wrong. Um, he's basically bringing you the other side that people are not looking at. Can you really be mad at him for that, though? No, of course not. But the whole thing is, like, we live in a different era, man. You know, like, like we live in an era where the, this type of stuff is is accepted now. You know what I mean? We just honestly, we just have to adjust to it, no matter. You know what I mean? But I don't think he's saying to adjust to it. I'm saying, uh, what he's literally saying is, it's not okay to be naked in front of kids. That's some pedophile no, of course, shit. Of course, of course, that's of course, what course, he's saying. Not, um, I, <laughs> all right. So I did see some. I seen some of the video where Boozy was snapping, y'all, and uh, Boozy's a real one. And he speaks, and I say that not because of what he's saying but he's saying what he feels um he basically said like yo not all men want to want are okay with another man who want to dick in his ass and he said we're not all okay with that especially if we're straight so he was essentially just saying like how is it okay for them but it's not okay for us uh the problem here is just we need to just be equal. I don't care if you're gay. I don't care if you're straight. I don't care if you're transgender. Uh, we need to be equal. Um, anybody who's Black Lives Matter, 
who's a minority, Spanish, black, uh, just not Caucasian or, you know, um, we're all in this together. There's no reason, though, the LG community has more pull than the black community. When the black community was ripped from their homes of the motherland Africa, brought here to slave after they done raped and killed many of <laughs> Native Americans. Um, like, everybody just needs to be equal. Uh, making one group bigger than the other is no different than making the whites greater than the blacks or the whites thinking they're greater than blacks. And that's the problem that we have, man. Uh, we're all human. We all bleed blood. You feel what I'm saying? Um, let's be one. Let's not hate each other. Let's put love in the air. Um, everybody got their own preferences. Who give a fuck? Uh, I love fried chicken. Maybe you don't. So because you don't love fried... Right, yeah. No, that's you. I'm just saying. <laughs> so shit. if a, a motherfucker <laughs> don't love fried chicken, I hate them. Like, that, that's a type of dis, being dis, uh, discriminated against. Uh, it's not cool, man. Uh, I just don't agree. And I talk to my wife about it daily. Like, no, Not daily, but we talked about it. I was like, I just feel like the black community gets laughed at. Black Lives Matter, but then if the LGBTY community or whatever it is come out and say something, it's all oh, we got to change it. But no offense, have you? I asked her this. I said, Have you seen a transgender or a gay man or woman killed on camera for being themselves? How many black people have you seen murdered or Spanish people too? Because Spanish people are black people. Yeah, that's a weekly thing. It's a lot. So, with that being said, it's just one of them things where, like, it's not fair. I just want everybody to be equal. In my opinion, what's your thoughts? It's, it's a very, you know, tense subject, you know what I mean? Because, like, you can say the wrong thing and you're going to get bashed for it. So, uh, I, I agree with you. Um, We're going to get canceled. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't get canceled. <laughs> not, even, not even make it yet. But, yeah. Um, like Lamont said, um, it's going to be an equal thing. But is that going to happen? I don't think so. Um we just live in a very judgmental era right now where, you know what I mean, like, if you, you agree with this, then you disagree with that, and it's not really like that, but it is what it is. So, right now, we're heading down the home stretch. Um, if you guys have any questions, comment down below, and right now, we're going to talk about it. So, right now, we'll be up probably like another five minutes. So, yeah, drop your questions, and we'll probably answer to our best abilities right now. And right now, we're just going to sit some beer till Lamont comes out taking the piss. Ooh. And also let you let, let us know what you guys thought about our questions today and if you guys have any questions for future episodes, drop it below as well too. So you know we'll be back in another two weeks. So yeah, right now, like I said, I told everybody we're heading on the home stretch. We are definitely just about to the end of it. It's more or less if anybody is in here and want to ask a question, Kev, how do you feel? How do you like raising Kane and so? Well, Vanessa, you can watch the episode that we dropped yeah. a few weeks ago on Culture <laughs> Entertainment. Subscribe. Thank you very much. Yeah. Me and Lamont made an episode about it. Yo, <laughs> yeah, but the second episode was. Oh no, a great, great, great episode. Um, um, it's it's uh, uh, it's gonna be impossible on par with Power. It's gonna be above Power. <sighs> it's tough. No, man. no, no. It's really not though, because if Power took Power was how many seasons? Six. Kanan's two well, episodes. Well, I'm going to say five of greatness. But still, but, how, but season one wasn't, we weren't like, oh, this is the greatest show. I think it was. Off of season one? Dude, it was amazing. Not two episodes, though. Oh, no. Two episodes in the Kanan, and you're like, damn, I need my fix. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm definitely going to um, say some things. If you guys don't watch it, uh, I, I, I advise you. If you didn't watch, I get the fuck you, out. Get the fuck out. I don't want to get the fuck out, but leave. <laughs> leave. Come back. Come back come, in about come 45 back, seconds. Or, or come back in two weeks. Um, it, it's fucked up what happened to Kane and his friend, cause it, but honest, at the same time, you have to realize, like, eye for an eye. Now that Kane and his friend died, the Unique, unique it, it should stop now because... He said they needed a body. Body for a body. Yep. That but the way it happened, it's so fucked up. Cause imagine oh. being some cheeks up in a club and getting it popped in your face. But you That's say that you say it's bad. But do you realize where the brother was just making sure he had the best night of his life before he died? Make sure he wasn't a virgin. He 
we experience so much. That's just the gritty life of real world, though. I know, but... And the, the way I did, like, to it did bother him when he did the two. Like, he wasn't okay, like, ah, oh, boom, shot. Like, he had that face, like, fuck, I really don't want to do this, but I have yeah. to. My shit was the code, the lingo. Yeah, you gotta do Jackie Robinson. But um, if you watch that episode, I knew from the moment that uh, he said, oh, he came in cool because I'm the one that caught the body. I looked at Vanessa, I said, he's going to die because you're claiming that kill. So you're the one who has to die. And all that is, you know, is like, Magic was famous, I once said that. Famous got popped too. Famous got popped. Yeah, facts. For sure. Famous was, yeah, I don't like Famous though. I feel like he's, uh, something, something's not right about him. Typical Spanish too? Huh? Typical Spanish too? I don't sound Spanish to you. Oh my god, them niggas is is crazy. I, you know what? Um, it's the beginning of the good and the ugly. Yeah, it's the beginning of un- pure ugliness. That's but what it is. Killing, the only thing killing D was trying to make the goodness, so it yeah. could be good for a second. The only goodness that's gonna come out of Ken is gonna see how he learned the streets' power, like understand the streets how everything work. The ugliness is him going through so much shit that made him so fucking nuts. Don't forget, Jukebox seen the uncle in the car with him. So, Kanan is going to be like on some shit. He already got into it with his mom. Already. So that's, that's, uh, that's a mess on its own. But the mom is on her bully because she went over there. On some shit. She's like, nah, nigga, give me the dick, nigga. Yeah, she, she got the dick. <laughs> She's like, give me the dick, girl. Like, God damn. She's like, oh, she's like, oh my son's going to bed. I'm like, yo, <laughs> yo, facts, right? Oh, my son's going to bed. Uh, That's not what was said. Anything else you guys would like us to uh, comment on or our opinion? One thing I like to say, though, uh, all you young people, credit is very important. And uh, make sure that you're not getting yourself in to anything credit-wise that's going to destroy your credit. Um, a big part of this world is credit, and we're grown, and we learn that credit score means a lot, especially if you don't have a shit ton of money. Build your credit. Keep on track with it. Um, a class I would say take is like accounting because it teaches you how to manage your money and stuff. So, you know, take that class, man. Uh, learn how to manage your money and uh, be smart. Because this world is cold and it gets hard very fast where one minute you could be living lovely and the next minute you're flat on your face. Uh, little shit too. Learn to cook. Don't depend on anybody. Whether you're a man or a woman, learn to cook. If not, get an air fryer. No, that's still cooking in my eyes. <laughs> oh, are you excited for Kanye's new album, Kevin? <laughs> He's a... Yes and no. The reason why I say no is because that Justin LaBoy dude, I don't like him. I think he's just a corny ass dude. Um, and your boy Katie. <laughs> I just don't. I, I for him to have that type of person advertising, it, I'm not really feeling it. But it is. I, I'm I'm looking forward to it because I heard Jay Z's on it. I heard that verse and that shit was fucking dope. When he was like, "Yo, huh, the phone's coming back," I was like, "Part two? Oh, part two? If that shit comes back, let's get it, baby." But. I'm excited for it. I've been a big Kanye fan. Um, I love all his albums. I'm going to continue to be a Kanye fan, even though he's going through it. But I feel like you get the best songs and albums when, when they go through, through breakups. Look at, look at Drake Take Care, one of the best albums of all time. Mm. When um, Kanye got through, I think he went through a, a broken engagement when they made 808. 808 is a classic album. So I expect this to be a classic album as well. Too. Um, My take on Kanye is I don't know who's writing what. <laughs> Who's producing what? But Kanye does come out with good albums. Uh, so am I excited? Yes and no. Because uh, I care less for Kanye. I just feel like he's all over the place. But I get it. Uh, he's a black man in America, so it's hard for him. But um, any good music that comes out right now is, is beneficial for us. Yeah. So definitely, uh, I can't wait. What Jay-Z is saying uh, Throne 2. You teasing me? <laughs> you joking with me, Josh? Me, man? Come on, man. Uh, Jay-Z is still a phenomenal MC, so yeah, that'd be amazing. Kanye, drop that. Stop bullshitting, cuz. I know you're going through your shit, but drop it. Um, Since you brought up that, it just popped in my head. Uh, your boy, your favorite rapper of all time, 6 9 he sat down with a West Coast gangster, Blood, Whack 100. 
and they did an interview on DJ uh, Academics. I seen a snippet. Uh, Wax said, "I could see in your eyes to six nine that you're willing to die. You're ready to die because you're just trying to prove a point." Um, with that being said, I want to say this: I don't agree. I'm not sitting down with a rat. I'm not helping you eat no more. You don't take care of your kids. You don't take care of your pops. You don't even take care of the niggas that was riding for you because you snitched on them. So I'm not sitting down putting no money in your pocket. Um, as in being ready to die, when you tell on real gang members, you should be ready to die. At <laughs> any moment. <laughs> yeah, any, any moment. Any moment you're going to get popped. Yeah, so I don't know. But I know you, I know you fuck with 6 9 and you Yeah. Fuck with, <laughs> no, no. I mean, but let me finish because you fuck with them because of the trolling. Yeah, you love the trolling shit. Like, that's... You're such a dick that you loved him trolling people. Oh, correct? Dude, oh my god, the, the trolling at the time was fantastic. Um, <laughs> but I had to take a step back because I wasn't feeling, you know, him just fucking dead people. Um, I feel like you should leave him alone, let them you know, sleep in peace. That's when I was like, <sighs> he OD. I can't be fucking. Yeah, that that was the thing. That's a little OD, man. OD, that, when, you, when niggas, you know, getting shot left and right, and then you gotta make fun of them because you know. Mind you, niggas get selling. shot being real niggas. Yeah, I, I was like, I can't be really feeling that. But if he wasn't doing that, I would still be, you know, having fun with, you know, the whole situation. But now I'm like, can't really do that anymore. But this nigga used to be like, Trey Ray, yeah. Trey Ray, Trey Ray. Consistently. Couldn't Everywhere we went. Nowhere. Go, out, go out to eat wings. Trey Ray, what the <laughs> fuck? That got to do with the wings, cuz. But now, now I'm not, I, I can't really, you know, fuck with him. Or, not, I, I, I didn't even fuck with him, but I just laugh at the whole situation anymore. I, I can't anymore because, you know. I make fun of the people. I'm not, I'm not with it. <laughs> okay, because, you know, I mentioned um, Wack 100 being in the game. So I have a question for you. <sighs> Females who fuck their way into gangs, do you consider them being a gang member if they didn't fight to get in the gang, but they took a dick? Yeah. Kind of the same exact thing. <laughs> oh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it kind of is. Oh, um, you can't beat bitches. You can't beat bitches the fuck up. What are you gonna do? Just take them the fuck down? No, but it's a female massive female fight. Uh, so, so I you're, think cool it's, with, you're cool with the roll. So the roll is where you take a dice. If it rolls a six, you got fuck six niggas. Nah, dog. Nah. So but for her, for one one bitch to get in the game, well, that's that's, that's on her. That's tough. That's tough. But do you do you think that like if you was a, if you was a crip or a blood? And a bitch walked up to you, and then you ask your OG, oh, how she get in the gang? Well, she sucks six dicks. Nah, it's, it's, it's acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> what? She, she, did her, she did her duties, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you mean? But is you going to trust her to ride for you? No, but I'm going to try to suck some dick, though. <laughs> <laughs> See, but that's my thing. I mean, like, as a gang member, right? And shorty walk up to me, like, yo, come. Like, how you get down? Yeah, I suck six dicks. Or even if you tell me I suck dick to get down, I'm like, all right, well, but I'm next. Not, but not <laughs> the fuck you mean? You suck dumb niggas in. Why is it? The fuck? <laughs> he said, add one to the exactly. list. Exactly. The fuck out. But I'm thinking like, what are we getting the beef? I know you ain't gonna run. Well, I know you ain't gonna six nine me. Well, it doesn't matter. We go home and suck me off. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's not a control. Oh my god. Oh my god. Say a prayer for this dude, son. Oh my god. Kev, you're a wild dude sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. Um, we got five viewers in here. And we are we only got 30 minutes left. So if y'all don't have a question, we're going to take this last shot shortly. Well, we can take a swig of this beer. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, come on, man. I'm hungry. I Me too. I'm and I got to get Vanessa. You got Vanessa. Nah, I'm, we can take a big swig. I'm taking the shot. He's being a bitch. I am. Don't shame Mike. We're we're about to tag his wife so she can see, <laughs> see what he was just saying. <laughs> Fuck that, dude. Kev, all right, so next time I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna figure out how to do a pull. And if y'all want Kev pissy drunk, he's gonna have to get pissy drunk. That's <laughs> only right. Use all the viewers and use all the ones supporting us. What do y'all think? Because he's being a bitch like the second week in a row. But I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't want nothing, but I had to see my stomach. I Maybe want we can order food. <laughs> Come on, bro. Um, I was thinking. Uh, for episode four, I would definitely like a guess or two. Uh, listen, uh, you could DM me 
could DM Kev. You could DM Coach Run. Tame, you could DM God's Dirty Hands. You could text us. Man up, Kev. <laughs> Excuse me. Vanessa, I need you to focus on work and not focus on the video. <laughs> so, um, if you are interested, right, hit me up. Hit me up. Hit Kev up. And uh, we'll tell you. It's in two weeks. Every Saturday we link up. We do this. I get a, I get a little 12-pack. We get a little drinky drinks. Uh, we talk our shit. If you smoke, you're more than welcome to smoke. But August 14th. August 14th. August 14th to date. If you want to be a part of this, let us know. And uh, accordingly, we'll select people because uh, I think four people at a time for now will be decent. Yeah. Uh, and that will help us also. I would, uh, if you would like to come on with us, uh, come uh, have a question or a topic that you would like to speak on so that when you DM us or you text me or text Kev, that we see it and we're like, oh, that's a good question. And we could also then, when I have my question set up, I shoot you. Um, for the most part, me and Kev off the dome. Uh, I ask Kev shit to see his honest opinion. I don't want no fucking thought about shit. So he didn't know about the Ben Simmons shit. He just, he sees it when I lay it on the table, essentially. So um, we do greatly appreciate, though, everybody tuning in. Definitely, uh, definitely. Right now, four viewers. We've been at like, for the most part, four plus viewers consistently. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. Uh, like I always say, four viewers better than zero viewers. Listen, I stream. I can have zero viewers. I win. I'm like GG's in chat, <laughs> and I put GG myself. It's about just you know having the same confidence and energy throughout. Hey, I done made videos that were 15 plus 20 minutes long by myself. Got three views. Guess what? I'm still gonna make another video. Still gonna do it. Why? Because this is what we're pursuing. A second, all it takes one video blow up. Uno, one. And it's just a matter of timing. That's all it is. All about, uh, one thing about life is all about timing. And people out there who are scared, you know, to do anything that, that they truly enjoy, go for it. Because what's the thing that could worse? Nothing. Nothing. Listen, I want to say this. Pursue your dreams. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't. Or you won't. Just do it, man. Uh, it's too many haters in this world that we live in. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. When I made culture entertainment, culture entertainment for YouTube, I didn't think I was gonna get along 20 subscribers. We're at right now 42. I didn't think I was gonna hit 100 views. We're currently at 600 plus. About to hit 700 by the way, next month or so. Listen, again. Don't about believe in yourself. Again, guys. Uh, anybody here is for use. Whether you're Twitch. It says Twitch, we have two viewers. Twitch, Facebook, listen. You go to YouTube. What do you type in? Culture Entertainment with a K. With a K. Hit that subscribe button. We talk sports. We talk movies. We talk TV. We talk... Anime. Anime. He talks anime. He talk, He's his own game. And, um, it's so much. This is just a snippet of what we have in store for y'all. So, if we could do this for a living, boy, we'll probably do this twice a week. <laughs> um, seriously, if we, were, if, we, if, we, if, we, if we didn't have to go to work <laughs> or recuperate and we could just do this as a living, this is what we would do. Um, uh, we love this shit, man. Real rap. Love you. Man, my shirt looks so awesome. I keep looking at it. <laughs> Let's keep looking at it. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I've been looking at my channel. Damn, that's just nice. Yeah, yeah, man. You know what you're talking about. So whatever. <laughs> I'm broke, nigga. Remember that I'm broke. He got this money. You see that? that, 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 that. Who the fuck don't even touch it in Birmingham? But we do appreciate everybody that tuned in, that showed love. I don't care if you're on Twitch, you're on Facebook. You tuned in. Yo, we greatly appreciate you. You can Definitely. follow this man. He has a Facebook, Kevin Chavez. He also has Cultural Entertainment with a K for Facebook, YouTube. Do you have IG yet? You do. Yeah, IG. IG as well. Listen, support us. Oh, whether you share this once, you like it, you comment, people can see it. And it helps us continue doing what we're doing. Sometimes we're just we're just spitballing. We're just doing what we do regular in the group chat. So everybody gets to see us be at, uh embarrass ourselves, I guess <laughs> you would say. But we're we're taking it serious. Uh, we get new equipment every couple of months. Uh I have bought a mic. I have bought a camera recently, a light. We're doing everything to make your experience with us as good as our experience with you is. Bars. Bars, you know what I mean? Top five. And I'm not five, five pussy. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, um, we talk everything here. 
So even if you have a question that you want us to talk about on August 14th, shoot that to the DM. Uh, we answer anything because I know some of y'all, and sometimes y'all watch it later. Uh, whatever it is, man, shoot the questions. Uh, we're going to talk more. We're going to get to a point uh, pretty soon. Pretty soon, I like to have a little giveaway because uh, I'm looking at heat press machines. So maybe we'll make some culture entertainment shirts, culture talk short shirts. Um, you know, so it, it, the possibilities are endless, but we appreciate y'all stopping in with us. We'll probably say Culture Talks, you know, as a quote on a shirt, but Culture Talks, game got spit on me. Nah. Wait, <laughs> hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard it, but I'm not sure. You said Culture Talks spit on me? Nah, I, I just got some game spit on me. Oh my God, that's dirty. Bars. I like it. That's actually not bad, though. Yeah. For the woman. For the, <laughs> <laughs> for the, cause yo, if you a guy and you and you like, nah, like, but if you cool with it, I understand, man. I mean, if you like, you mean you like your booty hole spitting. I'm not one to hate, so that's on you. But uh, that was wild, Cam. That was wild shirt. That's a good idea, though. That's a good idea. Huh? Uh, we are looking into uh better microphones, like the ones that are on the shirts. So yeah, or or on our head. I've seen a few, um. So that you can hear us distinctively and there's no interruptions with that. We are better in everything. Everything. Uh, cultural gaming, cultural sports, cultural talks, cultural entertainment in general. Um, this is our, our baby. Uh, we're going we're gonna to be like an avalanche. It's going to start small. But use our use. It might be small. We might have five, six, four, three, two people in here. But one day we'll have 12. We're trying to build the army, but we need you guys to join. Yeah, yeah. So y'all ready to shoot shit up? <laughs> like you know I mean like nah? But seriously, uh, we have to think of like a, even a name for the chat. Yeah. Like the little shit we got to think of, guys. Like, uh, like we all know my, my favorite character, anime Tatachi, and I need I need more Akatsuki members. So I need you guys to join the members and, and fuck shit up with us. Okay, he's tripping, tripping. But yes, Tachi <laughs> is a real nigga. We gonna talk about this off camera. Well. I mean, we got a few. You want, can, I, can, can I just talk a little Naruto real quick? Yeah, we I've been excited. Woo! Okay, so reanimation jutsu comes out. So we're deep in it. So if you haven't watched it and you're weak-hearted, get the hell out. Come back on the 14th. <laughs> um, Tachi comes back. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in a war already. I'm a little bit... Uh, the war war happened. Uh, so what episodes I'm on now are the ones I don't have to see where... Uh, Kakashi's Ambu Black Ops I'm still gonna watch them Suck my dick Cause I love uh, Kakashi But They come back Itachi And Sasuke Have a battle And he uh, With Kabuto? With Kabuto Oh You far far Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um That was deep right? Well Where I'm at right now Is Sasuke And uh, over tomorrow, about to go have a little situation. But anyway, um, tell me, tell me. So you saw Itachi's story, the real story. Yeah. Okay. I'm not saying I cried, but I shed okay. a tear or two. He's real, right? He's the realest. Okay. Uh, him and Naruto are. Uh, I'm gonna say this. Him and Naruto are by far probably my two favorite characters. So you see why I love him? Uh, yeah, because uh, he literally uh, sacrificed his his uh, reputation for his little brother, um, and even in death. He still is loyal to his, like, uh, the way for you uh, people that are viewers, uh, his block, his street. That's what he's, his village, his hood. He's a loyal to it. Even in death, um, he tells his brother, like, I am a Tachi of the Hidden Leaf Village. Um, it's real shit. Uh, Madara's back. <laughs> but I just want to say something. Let me, let me talk about my son, Naruto. He learns all the tail beast names. And this power that he has, he's only scratching the surface. <laughs> he's literally beating the brakes off of you bitch ass niggas with clones. And mind you, clones usually take one punch. No, his clones are fighting <laughs> whole fights. And he's they're fighting a war. They're fighting yeah, they're war. fighting wars and they're doing their thing. So um man, this show is very great. That's a show I would recommend. Uh One Punch Man. Attack on Titan. Um uh, my next one of my next shows is gonna be One Piece Man. Yeah, that tattoo is fire. He actually inspired me. Uh, 
I want to get a tattoo that's half Naruto, half Kakashi. I am a fucking Uchiha. Okay, he's lying. He doesn't have the eyes. I'm waiting for my shot gun to develop right now. <laughs> he's waiting for a gun to develop. Ooh, you know what I want to say? Your man. Who? Toby. <laughs> What's up with your man, Toby? I'm disappointed. But I understand. <laughs> uh, this show is really real life. Like, what shit we go through. Like, how it could change you. Um, To me, to me, Naruto, it will forever be in my top three, no matter what. Um, Dang, it, 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 it has a special place in my, in my heart, you know. I, I've been watching it. I finished it in seven months. It took me seven months to finish it consistently, you know, with work and gym everything at the time. Um, he yeah. would skip the gym to watch it. I, I, I kind of did sometimes, you know, so like, hey, guys, I ain't making it today. I ain't feeling too good. Nah, I'm, I'm watching Naruto. Besides that, Naruto's a fantastic show. Um, it's one of those shows where it's cool. You don't have to love the main character, but you'll fall in love with the other cast, which is, I think, makes it everybody show where you can fall in love with other characters and that's what makes it a great anime because they most animes you know usually follow the main character and that's it mm -hmm. this one you fall in love with the cast did you watch one punch man fuck yeah dude you fall you kind of like the cyborg but you don't fall in love with nah yeah uh naruto is definitely i love like I, I love i love one punch man he just doesn't Yo, like, he, he doesn't even know what's going what's on your training <laughs> regimen thousand push-ups thousand setups and run like that's how you got strong yeah all right nigga whatever <laughs> bro um that was our little geeky side coming out, but yeah. had to speak on it because uh, Naruto has been blowing my mind lately. Um, August 14th. Like I said, anybody who would like to participate with us, um, definitely DM one of us. One of the pages. There's so many. IG, Facebook. Twitter. Uh, he has Twitter. I got to get a Twitter still. Uh, YouTube. Uh, leave a comment or something, man. Uh, come show, show the love to support. And uh, we'll definitely uh, reach back in a timely manner. Uh, if you have questions, too. During the week, even if you don't want to be on the show or you can't be on the show, send them questions. Uh, we would greatly appreciate that because answering y'all questions is fun. Like answering the Jersey question was nah, fun. Nah, 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 Kanye question is like, I love these questions. So uh, keep doing it. Uh, keep supporting us. Um, so somebody reached out to me and they're like, yo, Lamont, uh, uh, your little podcast why don't you do a music blog i'm like maybe i can and he's like man that's like your that's like your lane just listen to music and then like like basically a dj academics but a real nigga and i'm like you know what maybe we could do that maybe maybe we could make cultural music a thing eventually um it might have to be a segment in cultural talks though definitely so where we might take 10 15 minutes before we hop into actual cultural talks to talk or we'll finish it with it. But me and Kevin get more into detail with that right now. I, don't, I mean, yeah. I don't have much to say. I'm ready to take my shot. I'm going to take my squig. be fucked up. I need something to eat after this yeah, shit. I'm starving. Uh, I got chips, but I need like food. To <laughs> this is not going to end well. Not, um, well, guys, as we always finish every show, with a, we started with a shot. And we ended with a shot. Because celebration. Thanks to you guys. Uh, we love you guys. Thank you for everything, seriously. Oh. But where can they find you at, Kev? Uh, YouTube, Culture Entertainment, with a K. No no Twitter? Or that's just your Twitter? Everything. Oh. Everything. IG, Culture Entertainment. Twitter, Culture Entertainment. Facebook, Culture Entertainment. Man, you can find Lamont Phillips on Facebook or Instagram. You can find Guys Dirty Hands on IG, Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube, of course. Uh, sometimes I stream to all three. Um, whether you go in there for a second comment, it helps. So all the support is great, greatly appreciated. We're going to take this shot, and we're going to send you back to the intro slash outro music for a few. You can still comment if you like. And this is Culture Talks. Culture Talks. <laughs>